Hello, so um, I hope you guys watched uh, tutorial one. So that, that told you how to set up our folders over here um, and uh, how to get some basic sound out of Ableton Live. So now what I'm gonna do is show you how to use audio tracks. And we're gonna do that uh, by starting out here. Now you remember we set up the first folder to be uh, audio loops, okay, and then the second folder here was drums for impulse, and the third folder here was sounds for simpler. So uh, for this tutorial, we just want to go into audio loops, and you're going to see that I sorted it by, uh, you know, drum loops and video game loops and some bits and pieces of songs and, and this and that. Uh, so you can go and play around and pick, pick what you want. Um, I'll start again with that uh, Zelda loop we saw in the last one. So um, if I want to do something with that, I can load it a couple different ways. So I can grab it and drag it into an audio track. Now you're gonna see that we have a MIDI track and we're gonna talk about MIDI tracks later. That's gonna be um, where we're gonna open Impulse, which is a drum machine, okay? Um, so for now, you can uh, just delete that by, you, you, you click on it so that it's yellow and uh, then hit backspace. Um, what you can do to open a new track is go to insert audio track and you can keep doing that by uh, you can hold down control T and make as many as you want or if you drag an audio file into the middle of nowhere then it's going to create a brand new audio track so I'm just going to delete that so now I have two audio tracks maybe I'll go back and uh, find some drums so um, I can, uh, as you remember from the last one, listen to what these are by just clicking on them. Okay, now that's only gonna work if this headphone is blue, okay? If that's off, then as I click through these, none of them are gonna work. So, so I'll grab that, it's pretty simple. Drag it into another audio track, okay? Um, now, one thing to remember about this is if you have some sounds in the same track, you can only play one thing at once. So if I play the Zelda loop, turn this down a bit, oops. Um, and then I click on the next one, it's gonna stop playing the first one and it's gonna go to that. If I want two sounds to play at the same time, they have to be in separate tracks. So if I want that playing, I'll just turn it down a bit at the same time as the Zelda loop. Now it's in its separate audio track and I can hit play over here. Now you notice that it has put those two loops into time. Uh, I went through and I made some some loops that go around uh, nicely and it's Ableton Live detects what the tempo is and it stretches it to the tempo of our project. So our project is 120 beats per minute. If we want it to speed up, we can click on there and drag up we want it to woo, slow way down. We can click it way down or we can double click in there and we should be able to type in a tempo and hit enter, okay? We can also click on the tap button next to it uh, and as soon as we hit it four times, then it's going to figure out what tempo we were tapping at and uh, reset it. So if I go, okay, so it's set it to about 90, 94, 95. I'll, maybe I'll set it to 100. Maybe 110. Okay, so that's a way to, to change the speed and have a couple things playing at the same time. Um, so a few other things that you, you probably noticed me already doing, uh, you can adjust the volume, okay? With the volume slider here, obviously the lower it goes, you're not gonna hear it. Uh, you can click on it and drag. It's really, really touchy. I don't know if you notice, I'm actually using a Mac and I'm in, uh, parallels um, running this and it's a little whoa it's a little touchy when I try and drag this up and down so you can, you can click on it and you can use your arrow keys to go up and down uh, bring that down a bit more too so you can balance these out you have a pan control so if you want sounds to go to different ears you can choose that okay um, you also have a uh, solo button. So if I want to hear one of the tracks, okay? And if you click on these numbers, 
it will mute the track. So you can see that something is still playing, but it's grayed out. And uh, that's another reason why you might not have sound. Um, I think that's about all I want to talk about this tutorial. Um, if you want to stop any of these, then just click on a stop button underneath it. Um, if uh, actually, if you want to trigger an entire row of things, say we had, maybe I had this here and this here, and I don't know, something over here. Um, and I want to trigger an entire row of things, I can click on the master track, it's going to trigger both of those. Okay, and you notice that it always waits till it gets to the end of the loop or halfway through the loop so that it, it, uh, it goes into the next thing in time. Uh, otherwise, if we had loops sort of falling in and out at different times, it would be uh, a little confusing and sound like a bit of a train wreck. Um, you can take it out of that mode if you want and change it a bit, but uh, whoa. Um, I don't recommend it for right now. Okay, so we'll hit stop or the spacebar, and uh, that's it for this tutorial.